all right hey aquarius so you guys this is a a new read and this is for those of you who wow um have met somebody new it doesn't matter how long ago you met them you're just you have some feelings that feel pretty good about this person that you have met all right so it could be three hours ago three days ago three weeks ago three months ago um but this is new i mean potentially it could be a year ago and you just don't know anything about this person and it still feels new all right so however that applies to you you're going to know this is your read by your energy and what you think about this person. So if that does not resonate, guys, check your moon rising and Venus placements. And uh, I guess what else? If you're new, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys uh, stick around, subscribe. And if the video resonates, I, I, I'm just going to ask, please um, like it so that you guys uh, can help me get the um, video cycled through through YouTube so that other people have the opportunity to see the messages that potentially could be going um, through the same thing you are. So here's what I feel. Your energy is um, Aquarius. I'm not going to say you're in the best energy. The hangman card coming through just says you feel like things have been stagnant lately. It could be because of somebody that you have walked away from. All right. So even if you've walked away from somebody, I feel like you're still connecting with somebody new. Um, and you could just kind of be contemplating whether you are unsure of whether or not you want to walk away from this person. If you're full blown, like I'm walking away from this person, I'm taking a break. Um, the hangman card could be coming through because you're kind of really internalizing that you uh, may need to take a break and clear energy and heal energy. The shadow side is coming through. All right. And this could be um, uh, just clearing that old energy. I'm sorry for the background noise. I do have my uh, four year old um, with me and even though he knows what quiet means. You know how a four-year-old is. The shadow side, though, it could be that you're trying to learn how to transmute some negative energy from a situation that you've walked away from. And the hangman card coming through just says that things have been stagnant lately. And it's like, I almost kind of feel like you're in this energy where you might be excited about this new person. But you're pretty much self-aware that you are not... Uh, you haven't really released anybody from the past or this person from the past. Uh, this new person that you're dealing with, how do you feel about them? It could be that you're dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. And I feel like you could just be having this uh, flood of emotions coming through of what you want. And it's almost like this. This is what I'm seeing. You guys can actually see with this new energy the potential of what you may have wanted with this person from the past. And I feel like that's coming into your consciousness all right, the Five of Cups is, I feel, bringing into your awareness the fact that you might not be over somebody, but you don't want to pass up um, a potential opportunity for um, positive growth and development and manifestation because you're hanging on to somebody from the past. All right, and I feel the King of Cups energy could just be that this person embodies the actual energy that you felt and craved for so, uh, quite some time. Um, but for whoever I'm speaking to, Aquarius, I do feel like you are aware that you need to clear negative energy before you can pursue what happiness, right? Who is this person coming through for Aquarius? Who is this person? What do we got? We have the Knight of Cups. This has definitely got to be a water sign for some of you. It's It could be that you guys may be hooked up um, in a sexual manner. Yeah, it's like this person is coming through after heartbreak. Uh, for whoever I'm talking to, I feel like you maybe have been done wrong by somebody. And it's almost like you guys kind of connect. Uh, here's what I'm going to say. You go out to a bar. You're with friends. You could be hooking up with somebody random. Y'all go and sleep together somewhere. Um, this person is really sweet and serene and nice and calm. Um, but I feel like you know your heart space isn't there. I feel, Aquarius, that you are the one that embodies this heartache, this heartbreak. And it's like, you know, um, the angels themselves hand you down this really sweet person. Um, it don't matter about the sleeping together dynamic. I really, I, I, I hate that uh, when people judge people, like don't ever, uh, who cares what people fucking think, first of all. That's my mentality for everything. Like, this is your life. You're the, um, you're the captain of your own ship. All right, and to let anybody have any, any ideas uh, pressed upon your life, to me it says, nah, nope. 
don't do that. This is your life. So I don't care how you met this person. If you guys slept together, if you were intimate, just in conversation or physical and then conversation, I feel like you're aware that you're not ready for this. Um, but this person comes through as a, a knight in shining armor when you're having a downtime. I feel with the Ace of Wands coming through, um, it could mean that they have a, if I'm talking to a female, that this person could have a big old, you know what? Um, but it could be too that they're just, it's a new beginning. This is inspired passion. And uh, it could be that this person, I hate to say it because I don't feel like, you know, oh, how do you get over one? You get another one. I hate that. I've heard that before. It's not true. That's not how you get over anything from the past. But I almost feel like for now, you're okay with that. Stop breathing like that, okay? I mean, you're not tied up, dude. All right? <laughs> he's just acting like he's having a bad time back there. He's just being lazy, laying in the bed. Um. So how does this person feel about you? Look at that. Um, they see They see the wounds that come with you. So <laughs> I'm going to say this. If you guys have hooked up or met over a night of drinks and cocktails, you could have potentially spilled out your heart to this person. And you might actually be questioning whether or not you may have ruined the dynamic with this person. Go ahead. Um, hey, you guys, I'm going to tell you this real quick. Uh, so I have four kids and... Um, all, all, all the kids are gone except for my four-year-old. So uh, I ha I'm he. I don't spoil my kids, but I, I'm I'm being um, I'm being lenient and I'm just letting him chill with us if that's okay with you guys. Okay, so yeah, sorry for the interruptions, um, but everybody always says don't apologize. So um, I'm sorry for those who are offended, but I'm not sorry to those who are not offended because I am a mom with four kids and I'm a single parent. Um, so for professionalism, um, it pretty much goes out the door, uh, for me on my tarot reads. Um, just so you guys know. Okay. So anyways, back to the read, um, what you need to know about this person or no, how, how, uh, you, how they feel about you. They see your wounds. So if you guys have, um, connected romantically or just intimately, they can see that you have uh, been hurt very, very much. So they can see that you're coming through as the wounded warrior. All right. How do they feel about you? Um, regardless of the pains that you might um, feel that you bring into this connection, um, they do actually look at this as fate bringing you guys together. And it could just be that you guys resonate um, in like-mindedness over what you've each been through. Um, so you could just be really drawn to tell this person your story or spill your heart out. And it's because this person knows exactly what you've been through because they've been through it themselves. Um, wrote, you know, op opposite. So what, what do you need to know about this person? The four of swords, they have not dated for a while. All right. The four of swords tells me that this person's had a good break, a good pause. So their head's in a really good space. Um, and the 10 of swords in reverse tells me that, uh, if you uh, decide to actually pursue something, um, um, romantic or, or anything otherwise you're not going to see a negative ending with this person because i feel like this person just has a super huge heart space uh for what you've been through yeah this person right here dang um this person's been through a lot I, I, okay so aquarius here's what i'm gonna say um if you have done a lot of the talking in this connection all right and you've spilled your guts out and you spilled your heart out i'm gonna tell you this what i feel led to say to you right now is to let this person speak. Okay, so you might just be going through such a shitty time right now that you're not even noticing that this person's not saying much. And I feel like your spirit guides and angels are saying to let this person speak and tell you a little bit about themselves. And it's not even that they're cutting you that you're cutting them off or anything like that. It's not negative energy. I feel that you're it's like ask for advice or something. I almost want to cry because this person's been through a lot of shit and they actually have a lot to offer, but um Wow, I'm getting so emotional. Um, and it's because this person has uh, such a big heart. They are, um, wow, they've been through a lot just like you have. And my heart's just getting really heavy because this person is so understanding. And um, they embody love in such a way with all the shit that they've been through. Um, it's not a competition, right? We can't be like, oh, I've been through worse or blah, blah, blah. But what I'm going to say is uh, if you actually have not, if you found yourself um not listening to this person or because they are just so in tune with you and they just want to listen to you speak this person's going to have a lot to say uh when you're ready to hear them speak okay 
Um, so what I'm saying is, is you guys might want to ask this person um, how they relate or how they could relate or anything about their past because I feel like you're going to see a huge shift in the way you're feeling and thinking right now um, based off of what this person's been through. And you're going to see it through the kindness of their heart um, that, that they've been through a lot, but they're just, they have no reasons to hold on to animosity or anger bitterness or hurt or pain so i feel like your angels right now are just saying maybe maybe listen or ask all right because this person he is they have they have a lot of uh, good feelings for you um and so they're right now they're just being really respectful and they're listening to you but it's almost like this person actually has a lot of good advice um for you okay dang um the short-term potential the short-term potential this is the next one to three months there is going to be a recognition of soulmate energy divine feminine uh, so here's what i'm going to say we have the five of cups coming through and i feel like that is mental clarity coming through right here all right so the short-term potential i feel the five of swords i think i said five of cups the five of swords is coming through saying where you have had um some unresolved uh, mental conflict when it comes to you and your own situation, you're going to be snapping out of that. You're going to be finding balance here, the short-term potential with this person, uh, really. And I feel like there's going to be this recognition of soulmate energy and the Empress card coming through. Whether you're male or female, it does not matter. This person, uh, there's going to be a huge recognition that, oh, okay, this person's meant to be in my life. I feel like you guys are going to decide later on whether it's going to be romantic or friendship, but I do feel like you guys are going to make it long enough to where you, you are going to determine that. All right. Even if you've slept together and you may feel like you've ruined it, you didn't, I'm going to tell you that right now. You did not ruin it. They didn't ruin it. Nobody ruined anything. Um, this is going to be a connection that you guys will mutually decide whether this is friendship or romantic and it will go forward. I feel like this is going to be something that's forged for a very, very long time, very, very long time. So what is your advice? The advice for Aquarius? Yeah, your wishes with this person. It don't matter. Um, it This is this does not matter. Um, you have really struggled with this person. I mean, this person is hitting my heart space in such a way that I'm just like, I want a friend like this. Um, because this person's bringing tears to my eyes with their compassion. All right. Your advice is, uh, somebody's somebody new has stepped into your life for a huge reason. And I feel empathy, uh, compassion, love, devotion, and just even having anybody, whether it's romantic or friendship, this is going to be your, one of the best, um, one of the best connections that you, you have ever have been, ever been able to encounter in your life. Um, that three of wands, I feel is confirming that. Uh, Aquarius. Oh, I'm, I'm sure that I went over the time frame. I, I, I don't like it when I do that, but it is what it is. All right. So the initials, this is going to be yours or this person's first, middle or last initial. Uh, it could be a city, state, town. It could be a passed over loved one. So however the initials resonate with you, just letting you know, this is the read. Okay. Not the initials. It's the read. Um, that's what I meditate over. Um, I do ask for initials to surface, but a lot of people are like, my initials aren't pulled or theirs aren't pulled. That's not the big deal. Right, right here is the big deal. So we have N, O, V, C, C, H, E, and Z. Aquarius, I love you guys so much. Um, I can't really say I'm sorry for getting emotional because it's not going to be the first time. Love you guys. Thank you for your support. Um, I would love to hear who is resonating with this, man, because this one just fills up my heart with joy, you guys, really. All right, you guys take it easy.